Hey guys, Craig Graves here with your weekly short from the Through a Therapist Eyes podcast. And this time I'm doing something just a little bit different. So depending on when you're listening to this, it, it's going to be a preview uh, of this week's upcoming show on emotions. So we just recently did a show on emotions and how they can lie to us. Um, sometimes they may be telling the truth, but a lot of times they are not. And this excerpt comes from... Uh, a process that Commander Mark Devine talked about in his book, Unbeatable Mind. And so we did a podcast on that book, and I pulled out a short segment there where Commander Devine talks about how to transmute uh, negative thought patterns to positive ones. And something we haven't talked about until now is he shares a similar process on how to do the same thing with negative emotions. Because we all know that when emotions get involved, things are even, they're, they're heightened, okay? They're, they're more intense. So we're going to talk through a four-step process on how to change negative emotions to positive emotions. And so let's jump right in. All sorts of stuff. So Let me get your feedback on this. We talked about the Unbeatable Mind book in, in one of our shows, and I, and I even pulled out the worm process and made a short out of that so witness negative how to how to oh you did change yeah. your negative thoughts i like that one by the way good job uh witness the negativity you know interdict um redirect and then maintain so i think you, that was our first short to check out right uh no i think the first one was on retirement okay yeah. but anyway so you witness the negativity you you interdict with the power statement stop it you know feed the courage wolf do something different whatever your statement is yep and then you um, redirect and uh, with with self imagery, you know, use visualization to picture yourself where you want to be, and then you maintain that positive state with a jingle or a mantra. You know, looking good, feeling good, ought to be in Hollywood, or day by day in every way, I'm getting better and better. Don't worry. Be happy. Be that'd, happy. that'd be one. You know. Be happy. So now. he's got a similar <laughs> process for emotions. So I'm gonna okay. run this by you. Yeah, I, I, this wasn't part of the plan for the show, but I'm gonna see what you think about it. Hit it. It's very similar. And I'm just going to kind of read through some of this stuff. So he says, emotional resiliency takes patience and courage to develop. Here's how to do it. Okay. Uh, number one, first witness the negative emotion, the negative emotional reaction, then interdict it with a power statement that stops it in its track, then observe the root emotion beneath it. So number two is lean into that root emotion and experience it fully, ensuring that you are, avo- that you are avoiding denial or transference. Hmm. Number three, transmute the negative emotional energy to its positive correlate. For example, the, emotion, the emotional energy of fear can be focused into courage. Anger becomes commitment. Jealousy is interdicted and transformed into appreciation. And the most devastating emotion, shame, can become pride while despair becomes surrender. Um, number four. Just to comment real quick, Craig. Yeah, I mean, leaning into it and allowing yourself to experience what you're experiencing is what he's talking about, which is I'm, I'm glad you did this because I don't want to give the wrong impression that emotions are bad and not to listen because they, they leaning into it and fully experiencing them, it, that's, that's powerful stuff. Yeah, so that, that kind of goes along with what I would ask is it's okay to experience emotions, right? I mean, when, if you're angry and you're somebody pissed says, well, off, don't, you're pissed don't, off. Don't yeah. be angry or don't cry oh, or don't, don't be sad. I you should let that statements. play out, right? Yes. Let that Thank emotion that. go, right? Absolutely. Okay. Let, it, let it live and then decide if it's lying or if it's helpful. Because yeah. letting it live... And then being thoughtful about it. I love what he's saying there. And, and thank you. Yeah, I hate this statement. That yeah. don't, I, don't ever tell your kids, don't be angry, Johnny. Yeah, I've stopped doing that. Oh, gosh. That. And then number four is engage the new emotion, the one we just um, correlated, with imagery and self-talk that supports it and blocks the old emotion from reemerging. Yeah. It's basically the four-step process to redirect emotional I don't know why everything's got to be a number. A five-step process to financial oh, wealth. Five steps to making a great podcast. <laughs> no, it, 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 is, it is good stuff. I, I, think, I think when you're reading it, other than when I wanted to make that comment, I'm thinking, yeah, that's cool. That's cool. That's cool. And that's cool. Okay, now do it. All right? You've got to do it. Yeah. Like, you can't just know it. You've, you've got to... 
I mean, I'm an action-oriented guy, Craig. I, I'm not, you know, sit back in my office and just listen to you and see how you're feeling. I'm, I'm thinking, you know, how is your life like? How do you want like, your life to be like? And how are we going to get there? What are the barriers? Let's overcome them. What are the drawbacks? Let's freaking change them. What are the circumstances? Let's get around them. There's something in your way? Get under it. You know, something, right? And, and so do them. You yeah. know, if you've got a healthy process and in, in, in something lined out that way, don't be afraid. Do it. Yeah. And I go back to in that thing we just talked about and redirecting your, posit- your negative thoughts to positive, that first step is the important one, being able to witness it. Yeah. But you got to know it's and there. And that's yeah. what it takes the practice to get to. That's true. Because you can go right down the old rabbit hole. And not even know you're there. You'll not be three degrees off direction. You'll be 10 degrees off direction and not even know it. So there you have it, guys. Chris likes to make fun of those processes, four-step processes, five-step processes. And there's tons of those on the internet. But hopefully this is a four-step process that you can use to to transmute or transfer or to get out of a negative emotional state. Because we all know when emotions get involved, things are heightened. Things are, things are there. So I'd love to hear what you think. Love to hear your feedback. So if you'd go to throughwittherapistize.com and uh, let us know what you thought, it would be awesome. Also would appreciate it if you'd leave us a review. And subscribe to our podcast if you haven't done so already. And Chris and I have a lot of cool shows coming your way very soon. Thanks for listening.